I'm Karen Eva, and thank you so much for tuning in to Hala Hala, the show for and about our APA community. February is National Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month, a very serious topic. And here to tell us more is Prevention Coordinator June Kalsith of CPAF, Center for the Pacific Asian Family. Welcome, June. Hi, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being here. Now, um, before you came along, I didn't even know there was a National Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. So um, tell us a little bit more. Sure. Well, uh, we often hear about domestic violence right. as being the big highlighting issue, which actually wasn't even recognized as an issue until uh, the 80s. Mm -hmm. um, and so that has been the focus of this movement right. uh, for so long. And only more recently in the past 10 years mm -hmm. has teen dating violence been recognized as a serious issue that has very, um, that is a uh, has more specific needs right. uh, for young people. Right. Um, so it was in 2006 that Congress actually passed February to be Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. Wow, so that just 10 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. And I saw the stats, they're pretty amazing, they're crazy. Tell mm -hmm. us, can you share with our audience the stats on teen dating violence? Sure, well, um, it's uh, not too much different actually uh -huh. from what we know about domestic violence. Mm -hmm. uh, so we know that the reported statistics are that right. one in every three women will experience um, some sort of abuse right. in their lifetime and the stats wow. are the same for the teenagers. Mm -hmm. And so um, being on our crisis hotline, right. um, we get a lot of calls from women who have expressed uh, that they have been in unhealthy relationships yeah. since they were teenagers, except wow. nobody ever taught them what a healthy relationship is supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. So uh, we also say that uh, for every dollar that goes into prevention, mm -hmm. it saves $3 from going into intervention. Oh, and wow. intervention can be um, uh, people who end up in the hospitals mm -hmm. because of injuries caused by their partners right. um, or any other um, uh, symptoms that mm -hmm. can show up from um, the abuse, right? Yeah, which yeah. could be depression. Yeah. Um, or it's mm -hmm. not just physical abuse mm -hmm. either, right? Um, is it harder for teens to when it's not physical abuse? Is it harder for teens to feel like it's abuse, or is it? You know what yeah. I mean to decipher? Is that why? Yeah. So we talk about abuse. Um, uh, definitely physical being one uh -huh. of them. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about emotional, emotional. verbal, mm -hmm. um, financial abuse as well. Oh, mm -hmm. um, more common for adults, though, yeah. right? Um, but especially for uh, younger folks, um, cyber abuse is really oh, huge yeah. right now. Especially right with now. With text right? messaging, yeah. the internet, and, and social, social media. media. Yeah. And um, what we tell uh, what we tell people is oftentimes mm -hmm. the the verbal and the emotional abuse um, cuts so much deeper than the physical because those are scars that you, you can't see. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then um, tell me why it's so important to. Um, handle or deal with these issues when you're younger instead of waiting? Mm -hmm. um, well, once again, I shared that uh, yeah. a dollar that goes into prevention <laughs> yeah, saves three exactly. for intervention. Um, but otherwise, um, where is it that young people are learning about relationships, mm -hmm. um, especially in our communities? Yeah. Um, a lot of us who are second generation, um, our parents don't talk don't to talk us, us. Yeah. about relationships. <laughs> right? It's like, you know, don't get into a relationship until you're married. <laughs> right? And I get oh, to choose a partner for you. Too. <laughs> um, and also in our school systems, yeah. we don't, uh, they don't teach about no, healthy relationships don't. at all. Right. They teach, teach about anatomy or mm. uh, don't get into a relationship right. or don't have sex. Right, right? exactly. And so um, for us, mostly in the nonprofit field, um, is where we collaborate uh, with schools right. or with other youth organizations mm -hmm. to bring in that component mm -hmm. of um, um, sharing space with young people right. and um, you know, letting them know that <laughs> jealousy is not a form of abuse. Oh, because they're learning it from the media. Yes, mm -hmm. um, they're learning it from media, they're learning it from their peers, right? Yeah, from but, the peers, from TV, right. um, from the song lyrics. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's where a lot of the education is coming from. <laughs> but you mm -hmm. and CPAF, you mm -hmm. have several um, ways of helping teens. Um, I know there's mm -hmm. like a relationship bill of rights with our healthy relationship uh -huh. curriculum, uh -huh. uh, 
what's unique about CPAP is that um, we are working with culturally distinct communities. Yeah. And so a Healthy Relationship Bill of Rights is mm -hmm. one of the activities that mm -hmm. we do yeah. um, along with um, really addressing how culture and identity is so core right. to violence prevention because if we don't know where we come from yeah. how do we know where we're going that's true um, and so we do a lot about talking um, yeah about our culture mm -hmm. our roots and then also how can we form a community with each other because right. oftentimes when somebody is in an unhealthy or an abusive relationship mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. experience isolation yeah so how can they we learn out, to yeah. yeah support each other mm -hmm. and not blaming the person yeah. you know for um, um, for uh, being in an unhealthy relationship. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. is, is it something that I did? Yeah. Did I do something wrong? I'm, and then you tell them what's a healthy relationship and what's an unhealthy relationship mm -hmm. too, right? Yeah. yeah. And then what's the survivor love letter? Is it love letters? Yeah, so yeah. actually the survivor love letter uh -huh. was uh, started by uh, Tani Akita, mm -hmm. who's actually the founder of um, Immediate Justice, which right. teaches uh, film through reproductive, oh, teaches reproductive justice through film. Oh, okay. Um, um, <laughs> Um, and so she started this as a way to build community mm -hmm. um, amongst survivors on the internet. Right. Um, so it's hashtag survivor love letter right. um, and there's a Tumblr page for it mm -hmm. and um, it started actually last year during Sexual Assault Awareness Month, <laughs> uh, which is in April right. and uh, we really pushed that um, in February specifically yeah. for young people. Right, mm -hmm. so how do you reach out to young people? They can come to you, What's mm -hmm. the, what do they have to do? Well, uh, we have our hotline, mm -hmm. our crisis hotline, mm -hmm. um, phone number 1-800-339-3940. Right. Um, and um, other than that, we really want young people to know that they have the agency mm -hmm. to make healthy decisions and right. to support others, um, their friends who are right. in unhealthy relationships. Right. Because as much as we tell teenagers, talk to an adult yeah. or a counselor. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you might be in an abusive relationship, the reality is it's the first easier people said than done. they're going to go <laughs> yeah. to are their friends. Yeah, so how true. can we support them in becoming better advocates right. in the right. community to end violence? Yeah, that's true. Because mm -hmm. Some people are afraid to go to their parents or mm -hmm. their counselor, yeah. so then they can just call CPAF or mm -hmm. the hotline and the, they can be anonymous if they want, right? Mm -hmm. If they have any questions or are facing yes. any issues, they can just call. Yes, they yeah. can call us. They <laughs> thank, can call us. For thank sure. you mm -hmm. so much, June, for sharing this mm -hmm. very important topic with us today. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Again, for more information on CPAF and National Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month, you can call the hotline below or you can check out their website. We'll be back.